Good morning. Today we'll be formulating a diet for my cat Alfie. The diet aims to increase his weight in order to mitigate the effects of extended painkiller consumption, low lung capacity, and encourage surgical recovery. Alfie is a rescue cat, and a few months after his rescue, I rushed him to emergency due to a consistently high temperature, coughing, and dramatic weight loss. There, he underwent emergency cardiothoracic surgery, resecting a lung lobe and draining his pleural cavity due to a pyothorax. He had two chest tubes put in, which were removed two weeks following the procedure, and remains on meloxicam for three months following. Proper diet formulation is essential to manage his recovery, support lung function, and facilitate weight gain, critical to his overall health. His weight gain encourages recovery and returning to normal activity levels post-surgery, and a proper diet is likely to reduce his recovery time. He has currently increased his weight up to 4.4 kilograms over the last 2.5 months. However, current challenges include the gastrointestinal effects of his medication meloxicam, which has reduced in soft stools alongside an increase in amount excreted per day. His resected lung lobe puts him at greater risk of lung-related complications and decreases his lung capacity. The decrease in lung capacity potentially increases his resting energy requirements due to a greater muscular effort required to oxygenate his body. Currently, Alfie's resting energy requirement is 202 kilocalories per day. For his maintenance energy requirements, this becomes 242.4 kilocalories. To gain weight, we increase this by 10%, requiring 266.64 kilocalories per day, which was then adjusted to a target range of a 10 to 12% increase. To take into consideration Alfie's marginally higher RER. However, it is important to not exceed this predicted dry matter intake as doing so risks undermining Alfie's recovery as surplus intake can lead to nutrient imbalances and promote unwarranted weight gain beyond his therapeutic needs. Therefore, closely monitoring his actual DMI remains essential in this diet plan. Pet diet designer was used for this project considering its precision in nutrient balancing and flexibility to calculate nutrients on a dry matter basis, aligning with the industry standards of NRC recommendations. PDD keeps track of nutrients with MTLs to prevent excesses as well as allowing easy adjustment of caloric intake based on individual pets' RER. However, it does not have commercial pet foods available to most consumers and thereby requires a basic knowledge of animal nutrition to use. It also does not consider that cats synthesize the required biotin levels, hence inaccurately portrays biotin to be in deficiency. This diet was a total of 123.55 grams, calorie dense, containing around 270 kilocals. The majority of this diet is composed of protein to encourage lean muscle development with a fat percentage greater than 11% for palatability. However, this diet has a relatively low fat content to decrease risks of digestive upset associated with high fat diets. Encourage healthy weight gain, carbohydrates are kept minimal, and due to the unique digestive physiology of cats, fibre and ash are provided in low quantities to avoid digestive upset. Water is always provided for Alfie. This diet will be fed to him in two portions, morning and night, to optimise his intake. A potential con is its expenses comparative to commercial food diets. As cats are carnivorous, meat should be the highest percentage of Alfie's diet, and as such, these meats make up the greatest proportion. Pork loins were included for its high quality protein, providing the essential amino acids required to rebuild and maintain muscle, critical to restoring Alfie's lean body mass whilst being relatively low in fat content. Beef variety meats of the liver and beef from short ribs were chosen for its high nutrient density and similarly for its high quality protein. These cuts are associated with high concentrations of vitamins A, B and zinc which support tissue repair, immune function, and metabolic health, essential to aid in wound healing during Alfie's post-operative recovery. Egg yolk contributes to essential fatty acids and choline, especially choline which is critical for liver and brain function and fat metabolism. This is particularly important as Alfie is on a higher calorie diet for weight gain and appropriate choline intake will maximize this gain. However, only 9.2 grams was added due to its high caloric profile to ensure Alfie's caloric intake remains within our target limits, the consequences of which were mentioned earlier. Spinach and kale were added with 15 and 5 grams respectively for its rich vitamin and mineral profile and fibrous nature, specifically high concentrations of vitamin K, iron and magnesium. These leafy greens inputted the required fiber of Alfie's diet and limited in their amounts to keep fiber low. The concentrations were also kept low due to concerns surrounding their high oxalate concentration which has potential to disrupt the gastro and urinary system of cats in high quantities. The following were added in sparing concentrations due to their highly skewed nutritional profiles. Wheat gem oil boosted vitamin E within the diet, while taurine powder was added to provide taurine, which is an essential amino acid for cats as they cannot synthesize it, and they require it to produce bile acid. Kelp powder was included to meet iodine requirements. 
Bone meal and crushed eggshell were added in combination to meet Fediap's recommended calcium to phosphorus ratio, whereas salmon oil was included to optimize the EPA to DHA ratio. The CA to P ratio is important to ensure correct absorption of minerals provided, whereas the EPA to DHA ratio is critical to controlling inflammation, especially prudent given Alfie's past surgical history and his current painkiller regime. Alfie's diet adheres to FEDIAF standards and should be closely monitored to reach but not exceed his target weight. If weight gain stores, we should consider a more calorie-dense diet or reassess the impact of painkillers on his nutrient absorption. Once his target weight is achieved, Alfie will transition to a maintenance diet for ongoing health and weight management.